we are here for the squad announcement. We've got two very important games this month. On Thursday, September 5, we'll play against Angola at the Babayara Sports Stadium in Kumasi. And then um, the game against Niger has been moved to Morocco, Berkani to be precise, by CAF. And that game is on Monday, September 9. So at this point, I'll hand over the microphone to the head coach for him to announce the squad. Thank you. Okay, good uh, afternoon. Uh, thank you, first of all. Thank you for the very warm welcome. And thank you for the large attendance. Um, I would like to make it short and sharp, and um, then we will be ready for your answers. Um, we'll start with the goalkeepers. Um, uh, for the goalkeepers, we have Lawrence Atizigi from FC Zangan. We have Joseph Wolokov from Crawley Town. We have Frederick Asare from Asante Kotoko. Um, going to the defenders, uh, we have Alidu Seydou from Stadran. We have Tariq Lamte from Brighton and Ho Albion. We have Alexander Jiku from Fenerbahce Istanbul. We have uh, Abdul Mumin from Rayo Balekano. We have Mohamed Salisu from AS Monaco. We have Jerome Opoku from um, Bas Basakshi here, Istanbul. We have Ibeniza Anan from Ofkai Belgrad. And then we have Kingsley Schindler from Samsung Sport. In the midfield, <coughs> we have um, Mohamed Kudos from West Ham United. We have Abu Francis from Sec Le Bruges. Um, we have Thomas Pater from Arsenal FC. We have Elijah Wusu from AG Auxerre. We have Majid Ashimeru from RC Anderlecht. And uh, last but not least, uh, the forwards, uh, we have Abdul Fatou Ishwaku from Leicester City. We have uh, Joseph Pensil from, from LA Galaxy. We have uh, Ibrahim Osman from Feyenoord Rotterdam. We have Antoine Semenyo from uh, AFC Bournemouth. We have Inyaki Williams from Athletic Bilbao. Uh, we have Jordan Ayu, uh, has now changed to Leicester City. Uh, and Brandon Thomas Asante from Coventry City. Um, I would like to hand over to uh, Mr. Henry Asante to just give you some updates on injury um, on players who couldn't come due to injuries. Thank you very much. So um, the players are 23. Um, some of them couldn't make the squad because of uh, various injuries. The first one is Salis Abdul Samed. He has a muscle injury. Patrick Pfeiffer, um, also a muscle injury. Gideon Mensa has a muscle tear. Ernest Nuama has an inflammation, so he couldn't make the squad. Kamal Dean Suleimana, ankle injury. And then Ibrahim Suleimana, twisted ankle, so he couldn't also make the squad. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget that Joseph Edu, who got injured somewhere last um, here before the Africa Cup of Nations um, is now on his way back to full recovery. He's involved in team training at Celta Vigo, but he's not uh, much fit because of that. That the technical staff decided to leave him out of this squad. Also, Daniel Kofichra, who's been injured for a quite a long time, is also now on his way back to full fitness. For which reason, he was left out of the squad. So. That's my way of um, updates on injuries and reasons why these key players were left out. Thank you. At this point, we will take your questions. Mutala, please coordinate that for me. One question per media house. You mention your name, your question, uh, your, your name, your media house, and then your question. Okay. All right. My name is Imano known as Mr. Confidence as Empire FM and I do and I do TV. Uh, last call up, the one before this one, uh, Frederick Asari Kotoko made to the squad and I've been following the Ghana for long. We have 
GFA is someone who always comes to our station to talk more about the Ghana Premier League. I'm very passionate about the Ghana Premier League. And this squad, Farik As Asari, uh, has been named. Coach, please, I want to know that our GPL, is it competitive? Our GPL, the players are not performing well. Our GPL, is it because, I want to know the reason why Farik Asari made it to the squad. Is it because our league is not up to standard? Thank you. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, excuse. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. <laughs> Can we please have some quiet? The coach wants to answer, please. Um. To be honest, I didn't quite understand your question. So, you are asking why? You, so you were asking for more goalkeepers from the Premier League. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I think it's 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 not easy, and um, and we will. I think I said it last time we will watch more closely the Ghanaian Premier League, um, and it's it's very very difficult. And I know um, if I would have left one out of these twenty three players, you would be asking me for why is he not in. So whatever I do, there will be questions. Um, but um, at the moment, and for me, it's not about Ghana Premier League or French League A or England Premier League or Bundesliga. It's about the players. And we need the best players to, to reach our aim to qualify for the AFCON. And that's, for me, the most important thing. I don't care where the player comes from. If I'm convinced, I'm convinced, and, and that's it. So at the moment, these are the 23 players which I think are the best to help us in um, transitioning my idea of football and what I want to see and how I think we can um, beat Angola and Niger on the pitch. And that's why they're in. It hasn't got anything to do um, with which league they're playing it, and surely some leagues are maybe higher rated. If I think about the uh, uh, British Premier League, it's very, very high rated. Right? And if you can compete in that league, you definitely have a, a, a place in our squad. But like I said, um, at the moment, or in, in general, it doesn't matter to me um, which league a player is playing in. But if I see the performance and the performance can fit in our system, then I'll, I'll, I would call them. Okay, my name is Jerome, freelance journalist. Uh, Henry said we were going to Morocco, maybe an official reason why we go there. And then my main question, you, you may have named a good squad, but the pitch they are going to play on throughout the week has come under question, a lot of scrutiny concerning the, the pitch. How concerned are you about the quality of the pitches your team play on, particularly the commercial pitch? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, coach, um, Otto, my name is Jonathan Akron, head of sports, Eagle 104.9. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate you for the good job you're doing, especially in the area of identification of players who are in full, especially. Congratulations. My question is uh, to goes to Henry. Um, Henry, you gave update on players who are injured and why or players who are perceived to be black star players but they are not in the 
but we didn't hear the name of some of our most established veterans, quote unquote, or experienced players, like our Captain Fantastic, Rami Morgan Dede, and you, and said Daniel Amati. We need to have updates on them because every successful team also thrive on experience. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Please go Calvin, on um, TV3. Uh, coach, we've seen a bright start uh, to life in England for a player like Fosin Abankwa. What could be, you know, the reason why he's missing from this squad? And Fosin, Fosin Abankwa. Yes, we've seen a bright start to life for him in England, but he's not in this squad. And also, we know um, out of uh, the leadership in the team, it looks like it's left with Thomas Partey in the event of him not starting the game, what is the leadership hierarchy like now? Okay, thank you. I think, I think we have four questions. Um, let me respond to let me respond to the first one from Jerome. Jerome, the game is going to be played in Morocco because that's where CAF wants the game to be played. Niger, unfortunately, do not have um, the required or standard stadium in their country, so CAF has settled the game for Morocco. But it can need to be precise. Um, I'll leave the rest to the coach. <laughs> okay, coach, so there is um, one on the pitch in Kumasi, another one on Andre and Daniel, Amate, Fos Mankwa, and then the leadership hierarchy in your team. Um, okay, at, at this very moment, um, John Penson is in Kumasi, um, having a, and he was there last week as well um, to observe the pitch. Um, to be honest, it's, 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 it is concerning because the way we want to play, we need a good pitch, to be honest. Um, yeah, but you know, there, at the moment, there are internal discussions how we can do better, that uh, there will be no discussions about the pitch. Um, we want our players to be happy, to, 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 to make everything possible to, to do their best on the pitch, and therefore we have to do a little bit better, I think, or much more better to um, prepare the pitch as best as possible. And um, we, I think, as a, as a FA in, in general and, and all the people who are involved in the pitch preparation, but also in the maintenance of the pitch, um, we have to, yeah, we are in discussions at the moment even to, to discuss things, how to prepare things better. And I, I know it's difficult. It's, not, it's, it's difficult because of the weather. It's not it's difficult because there are a lot of events happening and a lot of games. And we don't have this uh, capacity of stadiums uh, in, in Ghana. But um, we have to, in long term, we have to improve the, the facilities. We have to improve um, the possibilities. Um, to, to play in, in several um, or more stadiums and um, we want to be more um, yeah, more seen in each part of the country and therefore we have to uh, uh, better the infrastructure in, in general and uh, this is one of our biggest aim and with this I think it will be bring more quality on the pitch and the way we want to play and to bring back I mean more quality in Ghanaian football. Yeah, I think um, I don't want to repeat myself. Um, so there was a question about Andre. Um, I think you said yourself that you you are happy that we um, uh, brought, yeah, organize or bring a squad, with, and, and also we look on the actual performance. And um, like I said the last time, we are we have to look a little bit further. We have to look into to the next Afco, but also. Uh, if God permits, if we might qualify for the World Cup, also for that. So we're looking one, two, three years ahead, and we have to build a squad for, for that. that. And, and, and I, I don't want to repeat myself, myself and I said it the last time, the reasons why we, are, we, we choose some maybe younger players or some other players to, to come into the squad. And we're building up, and I think we did quite well the last time, 
even though it was very, very tough. And I know um, the next weeks are even going to be tougher because everybody expects us to win. It's going to be tough, and we will might also get some knockbacks, but um, this is the way it is in football, and we're looking a little bit longer. We're looking for long-term development, and that's why we, we decided also last time not to uh, uh, invite Andre. And Daniel Mate, yeah, it's a bit of the same. Um, if you, I don't know, if you watch, um, um, did you, do you know when he played last time? Maybe to, to, to one of your questions. I mean, like, if you're actually asking this kind of question in particular, you should know when he played for his club last time. He? Yeah, 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 I was asking you. No, he's not. I did in the last four games of the Turkish League. I'm, I'm, I'm asking this because of perceived uh, um, questions from or doubts in other people's head. Okay. You have you have stayed in Germany for long, without, with all due respect. You know when Balak wasn't getting playing time? He wasn't easily kicked out of the diamond shaft. Same applied to Schweinsteiger and the rest during your playing days. So I'm only recapping what you have seen and what you've experienced from a successful team. When you're building a new team, we just don't, and it's what I know, you don't just kick out the most the no, experienced so. ones, because the younger ones may may be picking certain lessons from them. I'm not saying Ching Chai should include them, but I'm only asking a questions that lay persons are thinking about. Okay, so I, I don't, to be honest, I don't like the terms you're using because the last time I said, I would never close the door, never, on any player. And I said it, and I'll say it again. The door is always open. It comes with performance, and if I'm convinced, I can bring a player back. This, for me, it's no problem. But at the moment, this is the, the status, and I would never kick out a, a player. Like I said, I try always to be respectful with, my, with the players. And, and even those who are not being called, I call them myself to talk about it and tell them the reason why. So the, the word or the term kick out, I, I don't think we should use it. But like I said, this is the actual status. We are in, 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 in contact with all the players and um, the door is never closed, never. Because if the performance is outrageous, surely we will want the best players to play for Ghana. Okay? Um, then there was a question about Vossen Amakwa. Um, yeah, he injured himself in the last game, but um, so my assistant coach Joseph Laumann is in, t in contact with him. Um, I think he did well. Um, he didn't play too much, too long in the last um, part of the season, but now I think he's doing really well and we have a close eye on him and um, our decision was that he would be on standby this time, but maybe he will come next time, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I think he's, like you said, he has a good start and um, um, it was a close decision in all. Injured. Yeah, first of all, I, I hope that Thomas doesn't get injured and if not, um, um, surely we have um, with Alex Zico, with uh, Mohamed Kudos, with uh, Salisu, experienced players who um, easily can replace him as a captain. Yeah, uh, good, good afternoon.